Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Tales of Berseria. We're here in Haria and there's a new skit here for us. Actually, there's two skits here for us. Uh, yeah, I've been traveling from town to town, making sure we're not missing any skits. Um, we also have that side quest with Zavid and the White Horn Dragon to do, but it's not marked on my little, like my little, uh... Why, why can't I think of the name? It's Quest Journal, Quest Log. Yeah, that, that was worrying actually but i don't know um i'm pretty sure we had an encounter with zavid and a dragon earlier in the game but i might be thinking of silva anyways here you go i moved here from Isolt. i couldn't just abandon amenoch's temple but the abbey and Inominat are important to me too it's not like i'm rebelling against them I just think that these traditions and beliefs are part of our island's heritage. So you are we heretic. Have to honor them. I think that's wonderful. But aren't you worried about the demons? I asked the exorcists in Isolt for help. They said they couldn't station anyone here immediately, but they would send frequent patrols. That's pretty tolerant, coming from the people who banned Aminoj worship in the first place. Those who served under Lady Teresa have a strong sense of justice. They'll protect everyone, regardless. I mean, of that's good to hear. No one has heard from Lady Teresa but for some time kind now, of but her people are not going along with the story for the most part. Ideals. I mean, not that it's not going along with the story, just like earlier in the game, there was no ex just here. Like, wasn't it stated they weren't coming here, like because I mean, maybe not, but. Crap, I'm having trouble remembering exactly what. Because there was, like, you know, uh, Ka Moana's mother and Ka Moana. Wait, this was Ka Moana. Yeah, this was Ka Moana, right? Yeah? That's... Oh, man. My brain is starting to hurt for some reason. Yeah, hey, let's go find that other skit. I think it should be in here. You're not, you're not a voiced-over skit? All right. We were studying the Imperium religions in the capital. When we heard the Aminoch faith... Aminoch faith... Sadly, uh, the ceremonies what? and rituals Excuse of the me? Aminoch faith were lost with its priestesses. Girl, I was talking! Them. A number of people moved to Isolt from the village. We're going to try to interview them and record what they know. This place used to be an inn. Will you reopen it? Yes, pe apparently this guy wasn't voice acted. Yes, people still come here to pay their respects. Fuck off! History, I didn't press I'm anything. Especially interested in the history of local cuisine before Midgan took over. Since some ingredients can only be found here, I thought I could help out with the inn while practicing the traditional recipes. What sort of dishes will you make? Tropical moussaka, southern style mango fried rice, that sounds good. sukiyaki, some other. I don't know what the here. last one was I or the first one. I can't imagine what those would taste like. Me neither. That's why I've got to use local ingredients to further my research. I don't know how long it'll take, but one day I hope to perfect these recipes and serve them at this very inn. Dope. My dream is to preserve the traditions, rites, and foods of this village for future generations. There, I did your job for you. wish you luck. What? That was weird. That was weird. We have reached the point in the game where things have gone wonky. That's fine. That happens in most games after a while. Uh, we've been there already, and I we'll go back to Titania again just to double check because we know there's one here. There's one in Yasal too, and that's the uh, the the Tur Island. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of like messed up text recently, and I guess voiceovers are just not a thing anymore <laughs> for some people. How are we doing on, uh, 51? That's definitely not enough to, uh, get that cat chest. We were just here. We were just here. So there's not going to be anything new here. Right, and a ball? We were just there too, but we might as well check. I guess I'll just cut to when we find another skit. Or if I'm going to continue with... Oh! Oh no! You're right! Uh, I was told that... There's actually some dialogue at the Shrine of Tranquility, just I didn't get it last time because of the portal. Right. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So, don't talk to the portal. Go around. What was that over here? Ah, oh, it's just the bauble. So, probably on the... Oh, there's a red herb. Did that... 
respawn already. Didn't I get that last time we were here? Maybe. Check. Both the opening and the advent began here. This is where the me before I was born died. And it's where Lord Victoria sacrificed Abbott's brother. Hmm. The former leader of the exorcists and Melchior searched high and low for the resting place of Enominat, the nameless Empyrean. No wonder they never found it. Who'd have thought he'd be sealed away out here in the middle of nowhere? And these patterns. They're similar to those I've seen in foreign temples, built during the era of darkness. That's some good camouflage. That's I a doubt neat our era name, too. realized the true purpose of this shrine until he witnessed Enominat's power firsthand. Maybe. Hey, that seemed can to we see conclude what in here? was shown no, to us. We can't. I can't detect even a trace of the original seal's art. Me neither. But I can tell you this is the Earth Pulse Point. Yeah, oh, we can well. see that the cat's right over there. Out of the bag, it won't go back in. Believe me, I've tried. Even if there was a way to seal him here again, I wouldn't do it. I want to settle things with the Nomi not my way. I mean, cats do go back into bags. My cats love playing in bags, especially the plastic ones. And that annoys the hell out of me because, like, that's dangerous. Don't do that. And I gotta move them, but they're always like oh, just crawling in them, licking them. Like my 18 year old cat just licks plastic bags sometimes. I've woken up at like four in the morning before with him like going up to the trash and just licking the trash bag. It's super annoying. There's skits here. All right, this isn't even a town. <laughs> this is a wharf, like from Star Trek, but less jaded head. Yeah, there's only, only three. That's fine. Hello, Mr. Pirate. There's a class four island that folks were too afraid to Another go one? Near, even before the demons showed up. If there weren't any demons, what was so scary? Well, the guy who owned the island was a real lowlife. They say he'd take a bunch of lawbreakers out there and make them kill each other. Fun. Yeah. Crimes are not that's terrible. Depends the on what they did. The island ran red with the blood of the convicts. Hell, you could even smell it in the air. Folks say that even now, on nights when the sea turns red under the light of the crimson moon, the prisoner spirits return to the island. You so it's an me, undead class four I island. I bet that those demons are reincarnations of the dead prisoners. If you go there. You'd best be careful. Careful's my middle name. No, it's not. Alright, so we got another... We can probably do the class four today, too, because I actually don't remember... Like, there was that dragon earlier in the game, and I'm, I can't remember where the heck it was. I heard about some Abbey people who went to recon a class four island. So is this class four skit time? Oh, I wonder what's drawn their gaze. Well, recently, a fishing boat carrying demons washed up in the harbor and caused a real stir. Was it us? just probably caught demon blight, right? Well, about that. People found flowers on the ship that only bloom on that there Class 4 island. But even if the fishermen had gone near the island, they weren't the types who'd ever even consider setting foot on its shore. Could the demons have attacked the ship, then ridden it all the way to the harbor in search of more prey? The demons were wolfmen-looking guys. Certainly got the Abbey on alert. A whole bunch of intelligent demons is bad news. Wolfman? Apparently like flowers, too. Barians? I'd say that place ranks sixth on the places where I'd least want to live. Wait, what the hell kinds of places are one through five? Uh, that's actually a legit question. <laughs> All right. Let me guess. Is this a... The hell y'all doing? What's that you're pouring out? It's for Eifried's memorial. Captain, uh, this is some good booze the first mate's been hiding away. Drink up! It's kinda, all yours! Kinda looks like he's screaming <laughs> at the water. I'll never forget you, Captain. And I'll never forget that 500 gold I loaned to you either. And I'll always remember how hard your fists were. <laughs> That's just Kinky? because you screwed up all the time, Benwick. I always meant to hit him back one day. But now I'll never have the chance. It's so unfair! Oh, shut up. It'd be a hundred years before you'd be able to knock him out. Not even Von Eifried would wait that long for you. Hey, I could have managed it in 50. 
<laughs> you don't have to knock him out, just punch him. Well, this turned out to be a pretty lively memorial. To death, we are as equals. It comes to us all. There's no reason don't to treat get it as something freaking special. Freaking broody teenager on us. Exactly. And besides, we're all pirates here. Wherever we sail, death is always lurking beneath the waves. You're all prepared for it. Of course we are. Yeah, that's the pressing, you're right. Would you mind if I said a prayer for Eifried? You would? He's the most terrible villain in a hundred years. That's debatable. That's true, but... Have you seen just... Velvet? What if you prayed for Aizen's friends instead? I don't think there'd be a problem with that. Okay. Is it alright if I pray for your friends instead, Aizen? I'm not stopping you. That's that's a lovely smirk there, Aizen. Captain, I was more enriched by the days I spent sailing with you than the centuries I roamed in search of something to end my curse. Thanks for the fun, Eifried. Follower of the Creed. Color variant outfit, Aizen. Let's check that out. I like the color variants usually. Ooh, that's spiffy. That's also spiffy. You're whiter than me. God damn, dude. I like your, I like the black outfit though. All right, next up is we're we're here. So Mercio, we were we've been to Mercio like fifty times before, and thank. I thought I saw another skit. I, I I was about to say thank God there's not another skit, and then I I thought I saw one, and I was about to be mad. So that's all of them, huh? All right. Where the hell was that other dragon encounter <laughs> from earlier? I guess I'll take some time and it it wasn't close to the beginning of the game. It wasn't here. You know what? It's probably near Port Cadnick, right? Cuz that's where that's where Zavid was. So yeah. Let's, I guess, mm, you know what, maybe not. Mm, there's another way out of this town? No, there's not. Is there really no other way out of this town? Really? Okay, so it's not Port Cadnick. It's not Logris. It's not... Re maybe it's Logris. Okay, I'm gonna... It, it was like a mountain, right? And we couldn't beat it? It was like level 80-something? Yes, yeah, it's just salt. It wasn't down there. We do have the class 4 islands to go to. Right there. Um, yeah, I guess I'll be back when I find this place. You know what? That That's probably it over there. Mountain Peak. It's just called Mountain Peak. I couldn't find it, so... I was like, let's just explore this way, because... It was on, like, a fieldy area. And I was also just, like, trying to surf off the mountain for some reason. Alright. So, yeah, let's go here. If they're not there, I don't know. We'll go to Terra Island, or we'll do... The, uh... Class f 4 Islands? Yeah. This... I don't think this was it. Maybe. No, no, it is. Okay. Maybe? I don't know why maps confuse me. <laughs> like, that's been a reoccurring theme recently. Actually, pretty much all the time. Every time a, a game has a map, I, I will be confused by it at some point. There's a save point. Is it? Okay, we do climb here. I guess I'll make a save before we're going up there. Now, hopefully, this is doable if this is Zavid's quest. And this is the dragon. I mean, from what I remember, the dragon was only like level 80, but he might have gotten stronger. There's nothing here. Am I missing a key to this quest? I guess so. Well, that's actually kind of disappointing. 
I thought we would come here and the dragon would be sleeping or something, and then we'd fight it, and then kill it, and then Zavi would show up and be pissed, and then we'd fight him. Or maybe we'd fight him and the dragon at the same time. That would be hard. I guess... What was the town closest to this? Stoneberry. We were just there, but we can check. There's definitely nothing here in terms of uh, skits. And I guess I could stay at the inn, see if it procs anything. If not, let's go to a class four island, I guess. Maybe we can't actually do uh, Zavid's quest yet. Maybe there's something we have to finish beforehand. All right, let's go to uh, what has a port? Zexen? Zexen. Sexton has a port. Nothing here, right? I'm, I'm a little, a little, you know, cautious about that. All right, so there was two class four islands that we unlocked. One of them's probably undead. Can we go back to the that Helix Island? No. Okay, this demi human. And undead. Let's go to the demi-human one first. That's the one where prisoners would go to and they... No, no, that's the undead one. This one... Is the, the flower one. That the... People went and got invaded by demons with flowers. Yeah, because there's a werewolf. Quick scope of the island for any herbs, red herbs. I see the cat chest. I can't open the cat chest. I got... 85 capsules. I guess at this point it doesn't really matter unless I'm going for achievements or cosmetics because I already have access to the cat's corner. I hope there's a herb up here. I like stack gains. They're my favorite thing. And surprisingly, Velvet, after eating all these herbs, is not just overshadowing everyone. I mean, she probably doesn't need as much equipment boost as everyone else, but she's not like super, super strong. I, she doesn't even have the highest attack power right now. All right, dark portal of demi humans. We can do this. Wolf Berserker Cyclops. All right, so it's gonna be demi humans. So I should definitely adjust this to be something that's good against demi humans, or I could just use the random one, the you decide one. Let's do the you decide one. Generally speaking, it will do the correct, well, not correct, but it will use whatever is good against what you're fighting. For the most part, you don't want to rely on it too, too much. Let's hold that up a little bit. Lock. Oh, orcs are here. Orcs are dead. That was kind of hilarious. They <laughs> just show up, and I think Lafayette said blasted them from behind. Oh no, it was actually probably Maguluka. No, maybe Lopset. Little fairies. You're fairies? I guess that makes sense. That was dope. Whoever just did that was awesome. Good, good job. I hate that ability. It causes so much damage. Come here. My HP is going to go away real fast. Yeah, no. Nope. It, it missed, but... Ooh. Are you guys new? Have we fought you before? I don't think we have. Let me... We defeated three, so we fought these guys before. They don't look that familiar, to be quite honest. And they don't hit that hard. I guess they are only level 60. Fairies are back, and they apparently have really strong explosion attacks. Get some health back. Hopefully kill this guy. 
I think that one was Magilu. God, I'm good. Was... Oh, right! I was in claw form! <laughs> that was actually really stupid of me. I'm actually gonna go ahead. Oh, I can't do that just yet. Okay, let's come in here and heal up. I am a not a very smart man. I'm just running around in claw mode and god damn it, Magilu. You are so good. Ow, that hurt. That heal my status alignment. Hopefully not waste any health. And do that. Alright, great. I love that attack too. I love all of Velvet's attacks. Good lord, that attack that Lobsid just did, like, 5,000 damage to something that ran into it. I know it was probably a weak enemy, but still, pretty dope. These guys aren't that strong. Though I think their spells still hurt. This guy came into the battle stunned. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> we gotta be almost done, I think. I don't imagine. Kinda wish there was a way to see how many enemies we've killed. Ooh, lord. Up, oh, one of these guys. Oh, that hurt. Ow, quit it. Any souls laying around? No. When the hell did Eleanor die? Like seriously, when the hell did Eleanor die? I guess I wasn't paying attention. It's not like I, I care about the grade right now, because I am sticking to pretty much just really good equipment. So, stretchy, stretchy. So even if we don't get the most grade, we should be good. I mean, all this spell stuff is rather worrying. Please don't hurt her. Please don't kill her. Please don't kill me either. That that son of a bitch charged his laser at me. I can't. There we go. Now I'll be able to heal. Which is good. Because I need a heal. Is Magilu's dead. That makes sense. She was almost dead before. Really? Mr. 55... Fairy spellcaster jerk. Hey, Eleanor, are you reviving Magilu at all? Is that no? Alright. I mean, I did just stock up on these, so. Ooh, we stunned each other at the same time? Maybe? Oh, wow. These guys. I can't die here. I was gonna say aren't that strong, but uh, I was wrong. Okay, these guys gotta be the last one. They have to be. If they're not, what could come after them? Good lord! <laughs> they definitely uh are good at crowd control. Oh, good job. They're not the last ones. These guys aren't that strong. I mean, I am stunned, but so isn't everyone else around me. Oh, all of them at once. Okay, then there's a, <laughs> this this one's just sitting here. Okay, it's dead.
We didn't really get any great for it. We got some gold for that. We got some yeah. stuff for it, too. Oh, Crimson Veil. All right. And that's the only new item we got. Crimson Dyed Armor for Women. Those imitated, imitated by it. Intimidated. Not imitated. Im intimidated by it. Have a reason to be interesting. Blood Blade. Is that good? No? Blood Blade? Really? This is like... This must be the one we just got. Or maybe not. This is like the first freaking sword for her. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. With the Crimson Veil. Crimson Veil. It's right there. Uh, it's a caster item. Not that much defense. Magilu? No, oh, it's actually weaker than that. Then I don't really care for it. I guess we can go to the other class forward and get that one out of the way before ending the episode. Oh, my expedition came back too. There was one before the start of the episode, but I uh, just took it off screen. Well, it's not like we're getting anything new from it anyway. So the next one is the undead one. I kind of thought we were done with the class four islands for some reason. I had no real reason. <laughs> I just thought we were pretty done. Undead quarter. I mean, it's definitely kind of... has a graveyard feel to this place with these uh, little pillars here. Let's see if this one has any herbs. I mean, the last one might have had an herb and I just didn't see it. That's happened before and it's going to happen again. Oh, you know what I should do? I should really put Aizen in my party. Like, don't know if his title affects us when, or affects the drop rate when he's not in the party? And I don't want to take out, you know what, we'll replace Eleanor with him. If I'm in this, I'm in this 100. I know, Aizen, good for you, buddy. Yeah, because we need, um... This this one he needs twelve items to drop. That's pretty probably a good <laughs> good place to get it. Now if he starts sucking, I will throw him out of my party. Not that he's bad. He's he's fairly good. Just I've definitely this. grown I guess used to everyone in my party right now, because they're all fairly strong. And and, and he can be strong too. No. Fudge! What the hell? That's an understatement. Not good. Excuse me. Stop. Am I weak to fire? Is Velvet weak to fire or something? Because she just got her shit rocked. Like, hardcore. I will spam the claw if I have to. I gotta get these spellcasters out. Jesus. That was awesome. That chain attack with freaking lobby sets, like, beam attack is actually dope. <laughs> it's, like, so good. Also, um, Aizen's AI loves to instantly use his Break Soul, or Blaster, that thing, whatever that thing is, it loves using it as soon as the enemy's stunned. Doesn't mean it even matter if he's, like, on it. He could be, like, fighting another enemy across the, the screen, and all of a sudden he just comes over and just use that. Die or be killed. Aizen, we need to talk, buddy. What exactly does that mean? Oh, this is new! Live you say, that was amazing. He needs to use that more often. <laughs> God, 
die or be killed. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it, man. That's so good. I don't know who does that one, but that tornado attack is actually dope. Wow. Jesus. Blood wall followed up by freaking the gravity attack. Thank you for resurrecting me, I guess. Don't know if I needed it. Okay, the only person that's died so far has been Velvet. Which I still see, think was kind of bullcrap. Like, all the skeleton sorcerers just kind of freaking targeted her right off the bat and cast her strongest fire spell. I mean, I don't blame them for doing that. If I was them, I would have done that. I don't want to fight them. Or Velvet and them. We haven't seen these guys in a long time. So I'm a little peeved about that move being used against me. I thought that was our move. But I guess not. Oh, this is one of the strong ones, isn't it? Oh, it's dead now. That's good. Yeah, we gotta be careful of letting those guys live too long. Any sorcerer character, we have to be careful of letting them live too long. Didn't you just do this? How fast is your blast gauge, Phil? Good lord. Wow, that was super quick. That was tougher than I would have liked. Paper Enchanter. Amber Talisman, Amber Talisman, Amber Talisman, Amber Talisman. Anything new? No? Barrier Ring. Alright, that's probably decent. Let's actually look at the rings. I probably have, like, a lot of Barrier Rings. I have two. This one increases attack arts. Hmm. How you doing on that title, Aizen? I got a little concerned there for a second because I was looking at it and like, uh, it looks like it didn't actually... Oh my god, it's actually just counting the battles where he's in and anything drops. It's not counting the amount of stuff that drops. Holy shenanigans. I, yeah, no, okay. Uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, want to head to my video section, check out some other content, and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.